Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Siphon with Zoom ISO. Siphon is a protocol for the Mac that allows applications to share video between each other inside of that computer. It's low latency, low overhead, it's basically just making the video frame on the GPU available between applications, so no copying is required back to the CPU. So it's great because it has that high speed and that low impact on your overall CPU usage. So it's a very optimized protocol, so when you have the option to use it, if you're using all your programs inside of one computer, it makes a lot of sense to use. So I'm going to show you how to set that up today. Uh, again, this will be a popular pairing for things like QLab or Isadora, media servers, things like Memo Live that run on the Mac. Those are going to be good options for pairing with Siphon when available, uh, when you're not using a computer as a dedicated ingest machine. That's one of the advantages of Zoom ISO as well. It allows you to run multiple things concurrently because it runs as an application on your Mac versus taking over the Mac. So something to be aware of there. Um, now, disadvantage of Siphon is that it's not available to all the video feeds in your network like NDI. Um, so if you are using an ingest computer, you might consider using NDI, and we have a separate video on setting up NDI for that. Without further ado, though, let's jump into the video and get started. So now that we're on the Mac, you see we've already logged into a meeting. If you want to learn more about joining a meeting with Zoom ISO, you can check out our Getting Started video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up some outputs. So I'm going to set up two outputs here. I'm going to have my default display set to screen zero and my default output size set to 1080p. I have two displays attached, you can see there, and I have uh, multiple resolutions available if I wanted to um, set this to you know 360p or 720p or 1080p, I could select that there, but I'll leave it at 1080p for now. On the participant dropdown, again, which we covered in the getting started video, I'm just going to select John as my primary and Jane as my secondary, and you see we have that, that video feed pop up there. If I go to show all windows, you can see the different floating windows that we have available to the app right now. And just by virtue of us having this enable siphon box enabled, it's already available to the siphon network. So if I open up a siphon client, this is just the example client, on the drop down list I have my primary and secondary windows, which we talk about in another video, and that's where you're going to be able to get your gallery view, that's where you're going to be able to get your screen share content as well as your active speaker, and I have outputs 1 and 2. So if I go to 2, I have Jane available there, and you'll see it 1920 by 1080 receive. At 25 FPS, 26 FPS, it's, it will depend on um, on the Zoom sending resolution. So you can look at that in your statistics tab there. So now that we have these feeds available, we can use them in applications like QLab and Isadora, and we have separate videos showing you how to get all of that set up. Um, but for now, that's all we have. So if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at info at liminalet.com. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And we encourage you to check out the other videos in the series. Probably the next one that would make sense would be to look at Isadora or QLab, because they're going to utilize Siphon quite a bit if you're running them on the same Mac. But until then, take care.